Hi, I'm Eddie with Dream Factory. And we are an enterprise grade iPaaS for any mobile, web, and IoT application. Our aim is to provide clients with the quickest and most secure way to transform their data through RESTful API fabrication. Once you log into your Dream Factory instance, the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to your services tab at the top of your page. From there, you'll want to click on the Create button on the left hand side. On this page, you should see a service type drop down menu and all the provided connectors that we offer within our software. For today, we will be testing the Salesforce connector that can be found under the database option. Here, you'll also notice that Dream Factory supports several other database types, including MySQL, SQL Server, MongoDB, Postgres, and many more. Today I'll be using our Salesforce connector to demonstrate just how easy it is to integrate and modify your data in our software. After selecting the Salesforce connector, it will bring you to the Info tab of your service. Here, it will give you the option to provide a name, label, and description for your service. Keep in mind that the latter two fields are optional, but the name field is vital to your service as it will form part of your REST URL structure for this connector. After filling in these fields, the only thing left to do on this tab will be to leave the active radio checked to ensure that the service is immediately available. Next, you'll want to navigate to your config tab. Here you'll enter authentication credentials used to connect to your Salesforce environment. Dream Factory supports two types of authentication, OAuth, and non-OAuth. Today we'll be using the non-OAuth method. To configure your non-OAuth authentication, you'll need to complete the following config tab fields. Username, password, security token, organization whistle. I'm assuming you already know your login credentials, but if you aren't sure where to find your security token, you'll simply need to log into your Salesforce account here, you'll navigate to the account settings and you should see a reset my security token option on the left hand side. Now I've already configured my token in my instance, so I won't be clicking this, but of course, if you don't have your token on hand, you should utilize this step. The only required field that is left would be the organization whistle, which I will walk you through the steps on how to obtain. From your Salesforce dashboard, you should see a quick search bar at the top of your page. Simply type in API and you should see an API option once you click search. After doing this, you will be provided with several different Whistle options, but you'll want to select the first one, which should be Enterprise Whistle. Go ahead and click on the Generate Enterprise Whistle button and a new tab should open up with the generated data. You'll want to select all of the data on this page, excluding the warning at the very top as this can cause issues. Once you've copied all of the data, navigate to your CLI, and from here, you'll want to navigate to the Whistle directory of your Dream Factory instance. Within the Whistle directory, you'll simply need to create a new Whistle file. For this demonstration, I'm just going to call it Enterprise Whistle but feel free to name this file whatever makes sense to you, so long as you remember to include the Whistle extension. After creating this file, you'll simply need to open it within any text editor of your choice and paste in the Whistle data that you copied from Salesforce. Once you navigate back to your Dream Factory dashboard, the only step left for configuration is to provide the name of your newly created Whistle file. Be sure not to provide the path for this file, as Dream Factory by default will already look to the Whistle directory. Finally, you'll want to test the newly created Salesforce API by navigating to the API Docs tab. Here, you'll see any configured services and the ability to test your endpoints for your data. Today, we're simply going to run a get on a table for our Salesforce data. You can do this by navigating down to the get forward slash underscore table forward slash table name endpoint. 
Once you click this, you'll need to click the Tryout button that will allow you to fill in any fields you would like to test. The fields offered allow a wide variety of filtering for your endpoint. But today we'll simply type in the table name at the very bottom in the table name field and click Execute. And there you have it. In just a few steps, you have a complete REST API generated from your enterprise Salesforce whistle. This is only part of what Dream Factory is capable of. As I mentioned earlier, we are compatible with several different database types, but we also have native connectors for many types of services. We offer many ways to secure, monitor, govern, transform your data with services like admin user receipts, roles and API keys, limiting and logging, event scripting, and much more. This opens up the door to many opportunities for streamlined integration. For example, building microservice tools like data source dashboards or smart customer directories can all utilize our software. To learn more about Dream Factory, feel free to use the link in the description to set up your free trial. Thanks for watching.